All right, YouTubers, welcome back to War Thunder Ground Forces with the Angry Nerd. And today, we're going to take a look at the Swedish Panzervärnskanonvagn IV Värjan. Yeah, there's no possible way that I could ever pronounce that. So we're going to stick with the PVKV4, but I did want you to hear it. Now, the PVKV-4 was an experimental tank destroyer developed by Sweden during the 1950s. The PVKV-4 was part of the same development program, which included the PVKV-2 and PVKV-3 tank destroyers. The aim of the project was to hastily design capable new tank destroyers that could effectively match the late war and early post-war tank designs of other nations using already available platforms and avoiding costly clean sheet developments. The result of this undertaking was the development of two tank destroyers based on the STRV M41, which were the PVKV-2 and the PVKV-3, as well as one design based on the STRV M40L, which was the PVKV-4. The PVKV-4 featured a redesigned turret in order to house a modified 57 millimeter PVKAN M43 cannon, with special attention being paid to modifications to reduce the cannon's recoil. However, the PVKV-4 was canceled when the STRV-74 entered service. Now in War Thunder Arcade, the PVKV-4 is listed as a Swedish Rank 3 medium tank with a battle rating of 3.0. It has a 271 horsepower engine propelling the 9.6 ton vehicle to a top speed of 31 miles per hour. Its main armament is the 57 millimeter PVKAN M43 cannon with a maximum ammo load of 40 rounds. Its secondary armament is a coaxial mounted 7.62 millimeter KSP 39C machine gun. Now I have it assigned to an expert crew with a crew level of 150, which gives me a reload of 4.2 seconds. Okay. So what do I think about the PVKV-4 here in War Thunder Arcade? Well, I have mixed feelings and it depends a lot on the maps that I draw. If there is good sniping positions from a distance, this is a good vehicle. If there's not, this is not a good vehicle. Um, it has a really good gun. It has a really good reload. It has really good gun depression, but that's it. It has incredibly slow turret traverse and it has absolutely no armor whatsoever. Let's take a quick look at the lack of armor on this vehicle. The most heavily armored spot is right here in front of the driver in this little spot right here. That's 35 millimeters. The turret mantlet right here is 20 millimeters. The sides of the turret, 13. Down here on the hull, 13. Side of the vehicle, 13. And if somebody can get the top, 5 millimeters. So, yeah, you're not stopping anything with your armor. The thing of it is, like the PVKV-2 and the PVKV-3, those are open top uh, tank destroyers. What happens with them sometimes, if you get shot in the turret, the round penetrates through and may kill the person directly behind the round, but it doesn't kill your entire crew all the time. Doesn't kill your entire crew here all the time, but a vast majority of the time when you take a round to the turret because it is enclosed and the explosion is trapped inside the turret because it's enclosed 
it kills both of your turret crew, which puts you in crew replacement, stuck out in the middle where whoever just shot you has plenty of time to shoot you again. Um, yeah, the lack of armor is the biggest drawback on this vehicle. It's good for sniping. That's about it. That slow turret traverse, lack of armor, do not try to get in and mix it up with other tanks usually doesn't work out well. Now before we take a look at some of my cherry picked best games in this vehicle, let's take a look at my service record in the PVKV4. It will give you a better understanding of my overall experience. Now as you can see here, I've been in 172 battles with this vehicle. I've had 109 victories, which gives me a win percentage of 63%. I've died 150 times, but I've destroyed 858 ground targets, which gives me an approximate kill to death ratio of 5.72. Now that is averaging ace gameplay but to tell you the truth i was really really surprised by these stats i thought they would be much worse it seemed like i was dying all the time i didn't think my win percentage would be the best of all the pvk uh tank destroyers that i played or that i had killed that many vehicles i was really surprised i thought my stats would be much worse in this vehicle now let's take a look at a couple of the games that really helped improve my stats. Here we go. All right, we've picked up Ash River. We have three cap points. We're going to take the southeastern most spawn point. And... I think we're gonna try to hug the wall beside the road up here at E6 if this guy ever gets out of my way. Sometimes this spot up here can be pretty lucrative. But it can be hard to make this um, balancing act right here, especially at this little gap. There we go, and Dang it! Urgh. All right, we'll try it again. I'm lucky that I didn't like end up on my top or on my side, because sometimes that just ends your game if nobody can flip you over. I have missed a couple of the early shots that I may have gotten. So we might be picking left over. There we go. That seemed much easier. All right. Wait for your turret tra to traverse before you pull out with this thing. Okay, we got a hit. There we go. And I go co over there, but I don't think I have a shot on him. Stug. Now these guys that I'm engaging are in the Alpha 3 sector of the map. So you can see how far away those guys are. See what we can knock out with this air battle. Hmm. 
Let's see. I don't see a bunch grouped up together. This guy's got a sniping spot right there. Here. Maybe try the S35. Okay, got the Cromwell. Got the Panzer III. And we got the S35. Alright. Oh, T-34 can be tough. There we go. Right through the turret. He was looking somewhere else. Let's see. Chiha long gun. person right in that line between A and B. Dang it. That Panzer III is after me. Wow, that was a lucky shot. Didn't do any damage though. Got him. Oh, there's air battles available. T-70. I missed the air battle. I was wanting to kill that T-70. Should have taken it, but I thought I would get a shot on him and kill him pretty quickly and then have time to is after me, man. That thing's really dangerous. We're going for the air battle quick this time. Drop some party. Here we go. Oh, we only got one bomb. Dang. I got three fighters on me. No. I didn't even get a chance to drop my one bomb. Yes. T26, easy. Oh, the there we go. Finally killed the T-70, but he killed, you know, he didn't kill anybody, but he hit my transmission. Cromwell down here. got me. Oh! My Q-47 
kill count just went up to 15. Not worth using a backup vehicle for. We'll just wait. It'll be over in a second. No, oh, cancel, cancel, cancel. All right. We got, according to intelligence, triple strike, shadow strike streak, multi-strike, multi-strike, without a miss, Avenger, professional, multi-strike, tank rescuer, and heavy metal hero. We did not get survivor because I didn't survive, but I did knock off 15 people for my one death. 91% battle activity. Um, and we are top of the leaderboard. So. Yeah. All right, we picked up Cyanide. This is one of my favorite maps. Both sides of the map have good sniping positions but we are lim limited here to only one cap point so yeah this is the who made the skin that's on the vehicle All right. I'm sure there will be a couple of people who are coming up toward where the B cap normally is to try to flank, which is always a good idea. Flank and spank, that's what you do. But I'm gonna try to kind of focus some of my attention actually down here covering the A cap. Ooh, dang it. It's too fast for me. There we go. Oh shoot, there's somebody right up here beside me. And he's trying to shoot me. How dare he? Gotta wait for this turret to traverse around. I'm trying to get it over there as fast as I can. Okay, we knocked out somebody in this turret, maybe. Maybe we didn't. Let's go back to the turret again. There we go. Whoa. There we go. artillery fire coming in and this thing is really lightly armored I was going to go on around but then I saw that somebody was actually on the cap so took care of that person. So 
somebody way over there. Wow, that was lucky. That was really lucky. Oh, they just killed him. We're just going to look, make sure nobody else is up in here. Oh, I hear a bomb coming. Run, run away, run away. Artillery fire coming. Nice. Oh. Guns are three. Oh. Nothing. I did nothing to him. Now I want to go around the edge of this rock and kind of engage the people over to my left, but he's been a spoiler. If I go out there, he's going to pop me. Let's see if we can engage this guy. Panzer 4H, pretty dangerous. Panzer 3. Drop some more already. Oh, is he coming out? Got him. Gonna hide right here while we take out this bombing run. Oh, we only got two bombs. I'm looking for people grouped together. I see like a group right up here. There, maybe. We'll see how that does. Got two. And that must be it. Just two. See if we can push around this side a little cautiously. Let's see. Get the one oh five first. Dang it, I missed him inside of the building. Drop Artie. Shoot, there we go. Woo, he shot at me. And he's called in some arty. Oh man, that didn't kill him. Oh shoot. Go for him again, the 105. And he got my gunner. He got my gunner. Oh no, this is bad. He got my other turret crew. Somebody help me. Somebody kill him. 
Oh, they killed him. Oh. Thought I was gonna die right at the end of the game, like I did last time. But we survived. All right, Avenger, Base Defender, Tank Rescuer, without a miss, rank does not matter, Triple Strike, Multi Strike, Shadow Strike Streak, Professional, Survivor, Heavy Metal Hero, and Balancer. First place in the team, 17 kills, 92% battle activity. Right, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Twelve for everybody else. All right, I think that's pretty good. We'll use it. All right, so the PVKV4. A lot of people really don't like this vehicle and I can see why it's because it has absolutely no armor but the gun is really good the reload is good and the mobility is pretty good but other than that it's it's not the best and it can be difficult to use but on those rare occasions when you can find just the right spot um yeah you can do some damage with this vehicle i hope you've enjoyed this look at the pvkv4 if you did hit that like button if you didn't tell me why what can i do to improve these videos besides playing realistic i don't play realistic subscribe if you would but as always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Nerd out.